What's he got over you? Got over me? I'll call you later. Trust me, tomorrow's due will go without a hitch. Sorry about the aesthetics. Everyone's trying to get money out here these days. Well, we'll we just back up a bit. He's got nothing over me. So run the piece, then. What piece? You offered no proof. Just here, sir. Hello, shall I knock one of you out so the other one can tell me what's going on? What's Ray meant to have done? He's a perv. A sex offender. Do you want to see my DBS certificate? Last I knew, they don't give them to offenders. He lures women into hotel rooms because he can't get a girlfriend any normal way. Oh, well, well, that's news to me, because I met him in a normal way. You're seeing him? Did you know about this? So what's he done to you? Nothing. Great, shut up! He propositioned me. Oh, ridiculous. Lied to get me to a hotel. It was a meeting. What did he do to you? Force you to meet me? No. Drag you to the hotel? Touch you in any way? No. You made me feel really uncomfortable. Oh, it made you feel uncomfortable. Oh, girls like her discredit women with real grievances. I've got to go. I've got a charity do to organise. I'll call you later. Coward. I'm a journalist, not a gossip columnist. I'll only publish what I can prove in court, because, quite frankly, I can't afford to be sued. Excuse me. And what am I meant to do? Work for that pig, Jeff, again? Ditch him. Oh, I love being told what to do. Ta. What do you reckon? Semi or skimmed? Oh, I bet Alina's more oaty or soy. What? Milk. I'm making a welcome hamper for her like I did for you. I think she'll just be glad of a bed. Oh, I like making hampers. When I left home, my dad did one for me. And to be fair, it was mostly first aid, vitamins, and a fire extinguisher, and anti-malaria tablets. Where did you move to? Levin's Hume. Look, he was a bit of a worrier. Oh, she's here. Shall I, um, shall I go and let her know? Maybe it's best coming from me. Right, I'll get the round in. I'll get staff discount. I think I'll have a V&T channel reader, Alina. Alina, quit with a side eye. Side eye? Side eye. Hi. 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 Um, Seb and me have had a chat and I've texted Bethany and all, and Audrey. Ah, no notice in the Gazette. Ah. About the flat, I mean. And we're all happy for you to move in with us well, into the box room. Oh, it's, it's, it's very kind. If you're sure he's not... No, no, it's not anything. It's all good. Tonight, if you want. Oh, customer. Well, she seemed quite relaxed about it. I can't believe you defended him. Did I? Name one thing I said. You questioned us. The journal questioned you. I questioned her. And me. Look, he has got something over her. I would bet on it. But what is your excuse? You should have dumped him on the spot. Bet it's the money, isn't it? Can you see what's going on in my head? Can you? No. Oh, it so is the money. Oi! Watch his arm. Clumsy cow. Is it because of his jabs? Who told you he's had them? Are you meeting Daniel here? Uh, I can take my great nephew out without having to clear it with you first. Because uh. we love spending time together, don't we? <laughs> yes, we do. Not that it's got all to do with you. <laughs> yes, we do, don't we? Oh, save me a trip. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Officially legit. Consider yourself a retired shark, it's 825 squid. Minus two pints creamed off the top. It's a joke. Yeah, it better be. God, do you reckon if you cracked a smile, your face would, like, shatter and crumble off? You do the smiling, yeah. Oh! Wow! 20 pounds. Brilliant. Here. Got all those expensive nets to twitch, and here you are gawping on the doorstep. I thought you might be Tyrone. Shorter, overalls. Last seen going to the pictures. Yes, with Hope and Jade. Yeah, and what's Ruby doing? Watching telly. Well, it's lucky one of us has got plans for her. How's she going to feel when they start comparing notes, eh? Ruby? David! David! You all right? Flaming jobs worth. I, mean, I bought a ticket. 
thought it was a return. Why would I get a single if I knew I was coming back? It's been done on the tram. Not on the train. hundred quid. I nearly laid him out. I mean, waste of time. Wasted journey. Oh, I don't say that. It's not a waste of time. I've shown her. I've got to get kids tea on. All right. Where you been? I thought you just got the medical centre. Yeah, I got waylaid. I got these, though. Right, well, uh, Liam's had his tea and he's gone to play with Jake. We'll put one up in the community board in there. Yeah. Gonna get one up in the yeah. and all. After tea, yeah. Do you think it's the clash or shall we? It's probably everything, isn't it? Poor guy. Hey, I've been monitoring. Is that online? Don't talk. The... I need your thingy. Thingy? Your laptop, where is it? It's over there. Why? What do you need? Don't talk! I'll forget what I want to say. Bad dog! Bad David! It was your fault. Your fault. Right, what's the drama now? Sean is going to kill you. Come and sit down. Your tea's ready. David bit it. David bit what? Should have let David get it in the first place. You should have fetched it over here. It was David's birthday present from Shona. Didn't like it or not hungry. No, no, it was lovely. Because this pudding, and it involves custard. I think we should show David on my car. What's that gonna cost? I mean, he's just written his off, hasn't he? So can we not afford it? Well, I didn't say that, did I? It's just that I only have to take Liam to school, and that's walkable. But poor David, he's got to go to Leeds and then take his kids to school and rush round trying to make everything work. It's always about other people with you, isn't it? Mind you, he might not like asking us. I don't want him to feel beholden to us. You're too kind. We could give it him. <laughs> you want to give him a car? I don't really feel right to me now. You know, I don't feel like I should have it. Why? I was really excited when when I got it, but then when I found out how you were making the money... Yeah, uh, yeah, well, that's stopped now, hasn't it? It's done for good. Promise. Right, so it'd be nice if something positive could come out of it, then. You know, it'd be lovely to think that something good could come out of something bad. You know, that we can make a difference. <laughs> OK, all right. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Whatever you want. Welcome to Ruby's shop. And what are you calling your shop? Oh, I named it. Go on, tell her what it's called. Busman's Holiday. Busman's Holiday. Would you like to purchase something modern? Ooh. It's a shop, not a social club. <laughs> hey! You've been ages. You're starving. I'll get the casserole out. Oh, no need. We had nachos at the cinema. Nachos? Right. Well, we won't all eat together then. What is this? What are you doing? It's a shop. Yes, and Ruby is the manager, and I am her lovely assistant. Would you like to purchase something, modern? Boring. Hey, it's not, bo it's not boring. It is. Ruby. Should have built spaceships like the one in the film. Hold Me on. and Jane are going to fly one. Right. Would you like to buy that, modern? In which case, you will need three buttons, or I'm calling security. Out here. He'll catch your death, mate. Yeah, it follows you around, doesn't it? Oh, death. David. Carry, go and get the wine, will you? I will, yeah. Bad day. We're all bad. Look, I've been thinking about that train fine. I think you should dispute it. Just tell them why you were in Leeds. I did. I told them I went to go see my wife at the hospital, but I don't know, they didn't believe me. They didn't believe you? No, because he asked me how she was and I said I didn't know. You still saw her, though, didn't you? No, because she doesn't want to see me. She doesn't want me. <laughs> Oi! Barbie! <laughs> oh, sorry. Gotta go. OK, bye. It's Cindy. 
At least I didn't call you Girls World. If you're going to try and make me publish that story... No, I'm not. I heard you say no. And in my world, no means no. Does Ray feel that way? Look, his company is one of our biggest advertisers. Without proof of what Bethany's saying, I'd have the board on my back in a P45. And there's no proof he's done out? <laughs> there never is. What, it's happened before? When? Fact is, if you want to publish stories about powerful blokes, it has to stand up in court. That's it. No proof. No story. It's not about the truth. Well, so it's true? He's a sex pest? No comment. Maybe it's not the worst thing that could happen right now. How do you work that out? Well, it's been torture for you, hasn't it, seeing Chandra? And Nakarin. And now maybe the doctors can talk to her and in time she might want to see her. And now you've got no excuse other than to concentrate on the kids. You know, they're just going to think I've abandoned her, aren't they? And just explain it to him. Tell him why it's hard for her. And you. I'm just saying, at least this means that now you're going to have loads of time to spend with him. Anyway, I was coming to give you these as well. I want you to have the car. No more dealing with jobs with on the train. You can take the kids out and go and do your big sharp, whatever. No, I'll probably write it off. Well, it'll be yours to write off. Honestly, David, I don't need it. No, I've got to go and pick Liam up now. I mean it, yeah? Tell Max and Lily the truth. Wow. Well, this is so much more powerful than anything that the Gazette would have published. Well, if I'm going to post that online, I want people to take notice. When you write from the heart, it's so visceral. Is that good? <laughs> It's amazing. I'm not very good at punctuation, though. Oh, so what? It works because it's passionate. It's genuine. I mean, who cares where the commas go? Me? Will you tidy it up for me? No. No, I will not. In fact, there. Too late. It's gone and published. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's you, not an edited version of you. <laughs> Completely and utterly amazing you. You can't keep... We agreed. Sinead wanted me to be happy. She said it. With me? She wanted me to be happy, and you make... Don't me... say happy. Because I know that you can't be that. Not yet. Better. You make me feel better. Than when you're not around. Here. You tell her to give me the car. She has got a mind of her own, you know. Yeah, I'll bet. It's blood money. It's guilt, that's what it is. Oh, I do feel guilty. I do. And nothing's brought me up in a sweat like this for a while. Not since the army days, anyway. I'm oh, wishing that a day had gone differently. Paralyzing. Like you don't move. Yeah, well, not all of us have the luxury of stopping still. No, nope. and none of us have the chance to go back and change things either. That's why she wants you to have the car. Let's hope you manage. Mm. You know, she's not thinking straight. No, she's just lost a baby and it's hit her hard, okay? And she wants to help someone. I'm sorry for how things are. Right? I saw myself this morning. You saw yourself? He's got a mirrored wardrobe. Ah. <laughs> you sparkle when I sat up. And there I was looking at myself in this massive bed. Empress eyes, according to him. 
emperor. Hmm. Or she, it's dead silky. And there's a arty picture on the wall behind me. Gorgeous colours, but like some five-year-old with a black crane had done it. Hmm. I bet it cost a fortune. Hmm. And I'm sat there, and I'm looking at myself, and I'm thinking, can you scab this, Abby Franklin? Can you get away with it? Maybe something's changing. <laughs> but no, same old, same old. The only fella I can pull is some sleaze will have me in his massive bed. Why? Because I am handy and grateful. You picked a wrong one, that's all. I mean, who am I to judge? I thought Pat was a catch and Jan was a wrong one. I mean, eh, uh eh. -uh. What I ate the most is how much I wanted to believe in. Over Bethany and Alia. Sister of day, that's not me. Mm. Gives you whiplash, doesn't it? Having to get your head around someone who can flat out lie to you. So what are you gonna do? Dunno. But summit. Sorry. Oh. What's up? What have you lost? Cowpole, Ruby's got a sore tooth. Bathroom cabinet? Tried it. I got a new one last month. It's not in all that, is it? Well, in my shop, certainly not. We have a strictly no drugs policy, me and Ruby. Helpful that, Nan. Thanks. It hurts, Daddy. All right. What are you doing? Jade will know where it is. No, we do not contact her unless we absolutely have to. But it's for Ruby. We'll get down to Deb's, get some more. Unbelievable. <coughs> I'll read her another story. Mm. I just thought it'd be quicker for Ruby, that's all. Hmm. Right, OK. Right, I've been looking online, and there is somewhere that can fix her. The problem is, it's a bit away, but we have Maria's car. So, if you wanted to, we could go, stay over, make a bit of a weekend out of it. What do you think? Oh, Shona be jealous? Well, she's asked to be left alone for a bit. You're not going to visit her? She's, um. She's trying to remember herself. And you see, the trouble is when a lot of people go around who are sad for her, it just makes her realise that she's actually forgot quite a lot, you know? And you're never going to visit her? No, I am. Of course I am. I mean, we all will, as soon as she's better. I mean, I'm phoning the doctors every day. Well, the truth is, I I've been letting you think that she's... she's getting better, but it's actually going to take a lot longer than that. So we just have to... Let her be in charge of it all. I miss her. I know you do. I do too. But what's important for us is that when she is better, we have to make sure that we have lots of nice and interesting things to tell her. So, what do you think about taking our friend to the Weasel Hospital? Should I bring the other one to keep it company? <laughs> um, no, I, I, I think he'll, she'll be all right. You know, and he can mind the shop, can't I? You know, so they'll be apart for a bit, but they'll be okay. Promise. Thanks, babe. You're a braver man than I. <laughs> no, Bethany? No. Nope. Oh, time that well. Getting the drinks in some. Oh, don't take his hard earned wages off him. <laughs> He's got a harem to maintain. What? Moving Alina into one room and Emma in the other. It's apparently the modern way. You are. Well, Emma's cool with it. Well, I'm not. I taught you to respect women. What, what are you going to do? Alternate? Three nights each and then a night off for a bath? No. Look, listen to me, Mr Casanova. I'm not going to sit by and let you. Oh, skimmed, semi, OT or soy. Sorry? Milk. You'll need a cup if you're hiking all your stuff in tonight. Oh, um, any. Thank you. I'm not... I'm not seeing them. I mean, not both of them, yeah? I'm seeing Emma. Alina's been sofa surfing. It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Ah. Mm. Alia. Hey, I'm looking for Bethany. She's not here. Look, I, I was... Oh, I, I cocked up. I should have backed you. I, 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 I was too stupid to take it in proper. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I was the same with Bethany. I didn't take her seriously until Ray straight out propositioned me. 
You know, I should have just turned around and give him a hoof in the Gingang Ghoulies. What, and get arrested for assault? Who was it? No, there's got to be another way. One way, don't get away with it. Well, leave it with me. I mean, I might be slow to catch him, but once I'm on it, we will get what's coming. Hey, I checked that envelope, you know, it was all there, so if you brought me into a queue... Got a job for you. Ah. This cash yeah. to the shop. Pick up a package. Look at his drugs. It's not drugs. Right. Oh, jewelers. You fancy not proposing? Proposing? Right? Hey, it's one knee time. Do you isn't want it? the job or not? I'll give you 50 quid. Plus travel. It's like two bus stops away. Yeah. All right, yeah. One pound. Two pounds. Yeah. Use a young person's pass. Thank you, man. You uh, could stay. Don't get carried away. Oh, OK. But you could still stay. Look, it's been really nice being with you. But you've got a lot going on in here. Well, it hurts less when you're around. Get home. Never ask me to babysit again, so you can disrespect my dead niece. We weren't disrespect. Never. Meet the family behind the man in the gloves, a fighting to reclaim his world title and maintain his mental health. New Tyson Fury: The Gypsy King starts tomorrow night at nine. Next here on ITV, the case reaches its gripping conclusion. As the trial begins, the jury must decide in White House Farm.